When I bought my MacBook Air M4, I was very excited because it's a powerhouse device with M4 chip. Everything felt so faster and smoother. But guys, after some days, the reality hits you. That is, your MacBook has only two Type C ports. And here, if you're wondering how to connect your monitor, SSD, SD card, and charge at the same time, is it possible? Right now, no. During this time, something like USB C hub ports comes into action as you are severe. Similarly, today I have Portronix M port. USB-C hub for you. In this video, we'll review this port by port and also we'll tell you what is good for you because here the USB-C hub port can be different as per your requirement and your device you are using. Stay till the end, watch this and I hope it will help you. Let's start the video now. But guys, here note one thing, this device is available under a thousand bucks. So whatever devices are available under thousand bucks for them comparison. For higher version, go ahead, find them. But under thousand bucks, it is the best one. Why? Let's see. We'll keep it simple. First of all, we'll talk about HDMI port. And this port is used to connect your MacBook to your monitor. And here the output what you get that is 4K at 30Hz refresh rate. And now here comes the main part. If you're a normal user, college student or watching movies or browsing, then this output is okay for you. If you are a gamer or edit videos or a video editor at high end level, then I would recommend go for a higher version which gives you 4K at 60Hz refresh rate because the output what you see and the work you're doing, there will be a lag in between or not a smoother process. Go for a higher version 4K at 60Hz refresh rate. Few best recommendations, link in description, go and check them out and now talking about second port that is your usb ports which are very important for transferring your data right so basically here you have three ports two are usb ports and third one is usb c for data the first port usb 3.0 and this port can be used for transferring your data basically here the maximum speed what you get that is your 450 megabyte per second which is not good because your macbook native port has a higher speed that is your 1050 megabytes per second it is okay for transferring smaller files but for a bigger files not a good option but don't worry there is another port available for you for a higher speed usb c port for data and basically the speed what you get here is just like your macbook 1050 megabytes per second third port that is usb 2.0 for your mouse keyboard or web that is okay. Next USB-C port is very important because it is for charging your MacBook and the one I have that gives you power delivery up to 60 watts and mine is MacBook Air M4 which can be used or can have a up to 70 watts charging power. 60 is okay for me but if you have a other MacBook like MacBook Pro it requires a 100 watt charging. So always go for a USB hub port which gives you higher power delivery up to 100 watts. Lastly SD card reader, it is same for everyone, so it's okay. But my last words, that is, if you're a basic normal user, like browsing, surfing, watching movies, then well and good, it is really good for you. The output with your 4K at 30Hz refresh rate, along with your 60 watts charging, well and good, it is okay. But if you're a pro user, like gamer, video editor, or you have a higher device, like your MacBook Pro user, then I would recommend go for a higher device. Otherwise, well and good, it is a really good device under 1000 bucks. So that's it. I hope you got the clarity. I hope this video helped you. And if yes, I request you, please like the video and subscribe. Until then, thank you very much. Bye bye. Take care. See you in the next video.